Okay, welcome back to the third and final video of the QuickBooks tutorial series. Let's see, my next check was on 6 5. This was check number 1070. Okay, so yeah, check 5070. And this was a check to. Um, Home Depot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've done this so many times. I just get going really fast. Um, so I go to the next field. Uh, Home Depot also is not in the list. So again, I'm going to say quick add and they're a vendor. So I say, okay. And this was a payment for $23.12. And I go to my drop down list. So it's for a little repair to the office that we did. Okay. And again, you can use the memo field or not. Um, I'm going to say I'm not going to. So I hit enter and it saves my transaction. Okay, um, so basically what I want you to do is to continue going through um, your, oh, let me show you one more thing, okay? Um, like I said, filling in this account field here, you know, making a decision of what you're gonna call something is really, I think, the trickiest part to QuickBooks and, and the trickiest part to accounting in general. Well. Some people may disagree, but, um, well, let's put it this way. It's one of the trickier parts. Um, if you're not sure what to put in there, uh, I'm going to show you a little solution for that. Okay? So, I want you to go back to your list of account, your chart of accounts, and say, so you go to list, chart of accounts, Okay, we're going to make another, one more account. We're going to say account new. And we're going to call this an expense. And we're going to say uncategorized income or expense. And say OK. Okay, so that shows up. So if I go back to my checking account, and again, I just double click. Um, so if you're, let's say I'm entering in check 5,071, and this was a check that we had to pay to the good old tax man. Um, quick add vendor. And it was for $60. And let's say I, you're not really sure what to call this. Um, taxes is probably a good guess. But let's just say you have no idea. Um, so in your drop down, just choose, for now, choose uncategorized income and expense. Okay? Don't, don't let it stop you. That's what I'm trying to say. Just use this uncategorized income and expense account so that you can keep moving forward okay and i hit enter and there we go um so yeah use that account if you're not sure what to call something and then you know either when you have more time to think about it you can figure it out then uh or you can call your tax preparer and ask them what you know what you should call it okay so if you go through and do that for your entire bank statement, uh, one, you'll get plenty of practice uh, entering these things in, and, and two, you'll actually have, you know, if you've done things, uh, if you've done things right, then you'll have the start to a file that you can actually use. Um, if you haven't done that, no big deal, I mean, because really the main thing here is to get practice and get used to how QuickBooks works. So. Um, like I said, this is not, obviously, this is not the be-all and end-all to how you, how you use QuickBooks. We're, we're really just 
scratching the surface uh, of this program because it's really powerful. There's a lot of things you can do, but uh, this is this is the basics of, of how you use it. So congratulations for getting started, and uh, we will see you next time. And one other thing, by the way, um, feel free to leave me comments below on possible questions or other possible video tutorials that you'd like to see done. Um, I'm definitely always open to feedback and your suggestions. I, I'd love to hear what else you would like to learn about. Um, so yes, just feel free to leave me comments. Um, I, I welcome your feedback. And uh, until we meet again, take care.